guys. I hope all of you are doing well. Staying healthy. Enjoying your Christmas break if you're in school. Sometimes be a disciplinarian. I'm actually going to get this game done as quick as I can. Come on out. All right, all right. Beauty. Hello, Big B. I wasn't expecting anyone. I know this looks a little odd, but there's an explanation, I swear. Why'd you hide when I walked up? Well, I didn't know who it was. You can't be too careful these days. No, you can't. Damn it, I'm late. Please, Bigby. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. He worries too much as it is, and it would just make my life a lot easier. Just please. I don't know what she's up to, but I'll play along. Promise me? Sure. You promise? I promise. Thank you, Bigby. I'll explain it all to you later. I will, but I have to go. Thank you for trusting me. Really, I I appreciate it, Bigby. game, yeah, it's Telltale, so basically every game they make, it plays similar to The Walking Dead, if you've all played that. As you'll remember from my previous playthroughs of that game. And I'm actually pretty psyched that, um, that game is gonna be returning for a second season this month, so I can't wait for that. Been a while since I got any mail. Seventh day in a row. Let's head on up. I can see the little arrow up there going down. Bigby, hey, wait up. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? I haven't seen her. Oh. Okay. Sorry to bother you. Damn it. Something's going on. Uh, to be honest, I actually wanted to tell him the truth, but I really have no idea what's going on between those two until later, so... There you guys have it.
take a look at these files right here. Bluebeard's file. Never trusted this guy. Yeah, if you take a look around often enough in this game, you'll get stuff added to the Book of Fables, which that's a separate achievement. Don't even remember ordering that. Probably a bad sign. stuffing in his apartment, I guess. Hey, Colin, get up. Uh, oh, hey, Big B. I'm in your chair, huh? I've only got the one, so yeah. Got a smoke? Thanks. A couple thousand more of these, we'll be even on that house you owe me. This has got to stop. You can't keep sneaking off the farm like this. The fresh air and sunshine pitch they sell you on is bullshit. I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some prison, okay? Don't send me back there, Bigby. You don't know what it's like, okay? You haven't been there. Don't be a pain in the ass. I'll tell you what I told Toad. And what's that? Get a glamour, or go up to the farm. It's not complicated, Colin. Lectured by the big bad wolf. He must have loved that. That for me? Nope. The house didn't blow itself down, Bigby. That's all I'm saying. Do with that what you will. Now, I'm not saying it's reason enough for me to have definitely been offered a drink, but, uh... It would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me, yes. It also would have shown everyone how different you are now. If that was all you were saying, I'd be able to get some rest. I take it all back. This is why everyone hates you. So, everyone hates me. Nah, I'm just giving you shit. I'm doing my best here. Clearly that is not true, what with the selfishness with the bourbon. But, uh, no, um, hate's the wrong word. They fear you more than anything. You ate a lot of people back in your day. I thought we were all supposed to have a fresh start here. I can't change the past. Well, you can't change people's memories either. Look, I'm not saying it's fair, but it's real. People are scared of you. I mean, look at your hands. Who'd you get in a fight with? A fable, right? I'm sure you're not going around punching Mondays. I was doing my job, believe it or not. Your job is to beat the shit out of fables? Sometimes I take them to the farm. Fuck you. You think my job is easy? You try keeping a bunch of fables from killing each other. How do you think this all works? I don't know. How? By being big and being bad. By being big and being bad? Don't say that shit in front of people. It's embarrassing. That's the attitude that gets you in trouble. I'm sure you were shitty to everyone you came across tonight. Mm, not everyone. Name one. I don't actually know her name. Awesome. Great example. Life is easier with friends, Bigby. 
and we live a long fucking time. I know you like this whole lone wolf thing you got going for yourself, but I've seen the way you look at Snow, okay? You're not fooling me. Will you shut up? Well, maybe if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep talking. Wait, that doesn't make Just sense. Just give me a drink, please. Colin, enough already. I haven't slept in two days. I went out a second story window, and I want to get in two seconds of shut-eye before I... Look, if I give you this, will you let me sleep? Yeah, yeah, all right. Probably. Thanks, Big B. What? Sorry, I'm... What is it? What happened? I just can't get into it this second. We need to hurry to... Hi. Hello. Good morning. Or evening. <laughs> yeah. These walls are paper thin. We need to be careful. We'll talk outside. Okay, some of you don't know, or if you're just curious or have a hunch, yeah, that's actually Snow White. A lot of fables you'll see in this game that look very familiar. This girl? Is... She's not a Mundy, right? Who was she? I thought I knew everyone in Fable Town. She looks familiar. I can't place her, though. A working girl? A working girl? I don't... I mean, I'm a working... Oh. Woodsman. He attacked her, I stepped in. And he threatened to kill us both. No. You don't think he... I don't think anything yet. Just give me a second. It's just... terrible. It took me a second to realize what I was even looking at. So, did you see anyone else? No. No one. No cabs, no voices, Mondays? Maybe, but... No. I don't think so. I would remember. Okay. Big P, did one of... us... do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. 
All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. Have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. To be honest, I think this girl right here was actually Little Red Riding Hood. She was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed for us to find. What kind of monster would do this? Strange cut. What did this to her? What could do something like that? Either something very sharp or something with magic attached to it. What is... It's a ribbon. There's some kind of symbol here. Hmm. I, I don't recognize it. Neither do I. <sighs> I'm, I'm sorry. This is just... So surreal. <sighs> um, what... what do you want to do next? We still have some time. I should keep investigating the area. Okay, good idea. Okay, so we got the ring from her mouth. We can go back inside, but I'm not going to do that just yet. That's a little weird. Blood. Drops of blood. I'd say it's been here an hour, maybe? Well, let's follow it. No signs that it's been here long. Fabric. Looks like jeans. Doesn't tell me much. I see some blood on the fence. Just some loose trash. Yep, more blood. Someone might have hopped the fence, got caught, then left the trail I found earlier. Blood. Still wet. Sharp enough. I think I found everything over here that I'm looking for. I know there's a few extra stuff around here. Or a few extra things, I should say. Nobody there. This is kind of a moment where I would take a minute to investigate everything. I'm gonna go here behind snow. Not really seeing much though. Yeah, I can't go that way. Oh well. I'm gonna show her the fabric. What are you doing? Better to be thorough. Sure, just hurry up. We don't have much time. We should move her before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Big P, do you have any idea what's going on? 
How did this happen? Why her? This is a message. A message? I don't know, Bigby. I get complaints at the office all the time, but... Just what about this makes you think that? Whoever did this isn't exactly hiding it. The placement of the head, it's exact. Purposeful. She was placed here precisely for us to find. All of us. Well, yes. I guess you're right. The killer wanted us to know what they had done. I'm gonna have to tell Crane about this. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. And he's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of it. It'll just be worse if he finds out we held it from him. I know you don't like him, but he's our boss. This is part of the job. I guess it's useless to drag it out. That's how I feel too. I'm sure he won't be happy, but it's just part of the process. Hopefully he can be rational about it. I wouldn't hold my breath. I'm not. I just don't want him interfering. Crane's not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. <laughs> 